Today, we're going to be showing you how to create multiple receiving addresses using the Dash Qt client. We have our Dash wallet open. At the top, we click the Receive tab. This is the screen where we can use receiving addresses from our pool of addresses loaded in the wallet when we first started it. Each time we use one of these, it generates another one. Note that when we first open our Dash wallet, it creates a key pool of 1,000 newly generated but unused addresses available for us to use. We can change the amount if we want, but that's something we'll leave to the technically skilled folks. We see a few things on this Receive tab screen. Label. This helps us organize our received payments. Let's assume we want to withdraw coins from Cripsy or another exchange. In the label field, we can put something as simple as the exchange name. I'll put Cripsy withdraw. We can also leave the label blank if we want. Amount. If we want a specific amount, we can request it here. Or, we can leave it blank if there is no specific amount to request. I usually leave it blank. Message. We can record a short message to stay organized or as a reminder or for anything we want, really. Since I'm doing a Cripsy withdrawal, I'll note that here. This field can also be left blank if we have no message to record. Before we request our payment, note the little radio box asking if we want to reuse an existing receiving address right here. This is not recommended. Best practice says to create a new receiving address for each transaction. I won't be using an existing address, so I'll make sure not to check this radio box. When we finish filling out the fields, we can go ahead and click the blue Request Payment button. We see a little pop-up displaying all the details of our new receiving address. Right here is our public key. It's, to, it's okay to give this out to other Dash users. This public key is what they'll use to send you some Dash. If we close this window, that's okay too. We can see down below now that in the requested payments history, our receiving address is now listed. If we double click it, the window will open again. Let's create another receiving address. This time, let's assume our friend Scotty is going to send us an undetermined amount of Dash. In the label, I'll put Scotty. I'll leave the amount blank. In the message, I'll put Scotty doesn't know. I want to use a new receiving address from my pool of 1000. So I'll leave the radio box unchecked. I click the blue request payment button and the pop-up window shows. I copy my public address and send it over to Scotty. Scotty sends me lots of dash because the truth is Scotty doesn't know. Note down below that the two new addresses I just created are listed in the requested payments history and will forever be listed there. Remember, we can create as many receiving addresses as we want because the 1000 in our key pool 
always generates a new one when we use one of them. Go wild and have fun with it. The only thing to note here is that if you go really wild, your wallet might take a little longer to load. That's it. We now know how to create receiving addresses for our Dash QT 